Okay guys, Big Flick here and today we're going to update the firmware on a vintage Olympus C8080 wide zoom digital camera. This procedure is more involved than simply launching some software. So what I'm going to do now is I will turn the camera on. Connect it to the virtual machine, which is running Windows 10 64-bit. Okay, the camera should be identified right now. And it is it's Drive E. So I've already copied a few photos from this camera to this uh, hard drive. And the first thing we will do is check to see what the current firmware version was. So all you have to do is pull up any photo that you've taken with the camera, right click the photo, go to properties, and then go to details. And right here you will see version 757-75. So that is the firmware version that this camera is running. There is a newer version. It's 757-78. So you'll find that on the Internet Archive. I will put the links in the description here. This is for the C8080 firmware. This is the version 757-78. So the first thing you'll do is download the zip file. And of course you do this at your own risk. So open the folder where you downloaded it at. First thing we'll do here is we'll move this zip file to the the root of the camera's memory card. So this on this computer right here, Drive E is the camera's card. You can find that by this DSIM folder. So we're going to copy this zip file right here, the one that we downloaded. Now, if you have 7-Zip installed, this is a lot easier. You'll right-click, go to 7-Zip, and extract here. The reason that this makes it slightly easier for you is it will automatically put the folder structure correctly because then you can delete the zip file that you downloaded. So now your, your camera's memory card is going to look like this. The instructions are just a cheat sheet for what I'm going to tell you right now. You don't need to read those. But Inside the firmware folder is the firmware.bin file, and this is the latest version. So this is how your camera's memory card needs to look, right like this. So then the next step is you can close this out because this part is ready to go. What you'll do now is <clears throat> this is all going to be done on the camera itself. So you can turn the camera off, you can unplug it from the computer, like that. Now you're going to make sure the camera is in the green play setting. So I'll turn that down. You have to make sure that this setting for playback is enabled. Now what you'll do is... you'll turn the camera on and you will see now when you turn it on it's saying do you want to update the firmware version yes or no so you will pick yes and now it'll go through the process of updating the firmware This process usually takes around one and a half to two minutes. And now you'll see it updated. The new version was version 78. So now what we'll do is turn the camera to the P program setting and we can turn it on now. And it'll turn on like normal. Everything should be up to date now. 
but we'll go ahead and check it. I'll go ahead and take a quick photo of just anything here. Okay, I will go ahead and reconnect it to the computer. Okay, so now it's recognized by the computer. We'll go to the drive. <clears throat> we'll go to the DSIM folder. Pull up the photo that we had. Click Properties. Go to Details. And now you will see that it's 757-78. So that is the latest known firmware version for the C8080. What you'll now do is go back to the main root folder of this drive. And you will right click on firmware and delete because you no longer need that folder. You can right click on the instructions and press delete. So now you're back to just having the photos folder on this drive. And that's all there is to it. Your, your uh, C8080 is now updated to the latest known firmware version that has ever been released.